Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ash, and today I'm going to be doing a review for Where the Snow Settles. Now, this is a short narrative sort of experience kind of game, basically a walking simulator in third person um, from like uh, from a distance. And uh, yeah, it's it's a fun little game. Lasts about an hour, and I quite enjoyed it playing it the other day. So um, it's developed and published by. Uh, Myriad Game Studios, and it was released onto the Xbox Store on the 23rd of the 7th, 2021. Now, it's usually priced at £8.79. Uh, I picked it up on a Xbox Live Gold sale, so I got it for about five quid, which made it um, much more appealing to me, especially when I knew it was only a short game. Now, the game itself is playable on Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S via backwards compatibility. And basically, the description of the game is uh, as follows. It's, as the world around her crumbles, Aurelia searches for a way home, unraveling mysteries, and wander along the way. So, um, you have to explore and navigate a cold and uncertain world, follow uh, Aurelia's introspective journey across a changing environment where she must work to navigate the encroaching cold and venture into the unknown so the game promotes that it's got a gentle and undemanding game mechanics which allow for escapism into a beautiful and desolate world filled with secrets so what that means is there's no combat as such uh, it's you're just basically following the path uh, interacting with sort of environment pieces uh, characters such as your sister and the spirits in the spirit realm and you just basically progressing through the story and taking it in and um, so you don't have to worry about sort of combat or anything like that um, right at the end there is a, like a, a boss battle at the end but it, it's not a proper boss battle in the sense of what you would expect it's more of like a, a interactive <laughs> setting right at the end for about two or three minutes that's all so, as you progress through the world, uh, you've got to walk, run and slide your way through tricky terrain and interact with the world to learn more about the characters that inhabit it. Um, and yeah, so basically the, the plot of the game is that the sort of stones, the earth stones that sort of maintain sort of Mother Earth and keep everything in line uh, are dying or broken. So it's made like all the, the way you are, like freezing cold, it's covered in snow and... You and your sister go out to sort of... Um, well, you don't know you're going out. It, she sort of springs it on you. But you end up going out to try and get to the near village or the nearest village to try and get some help, basically, and uh, figure out what's going on. And one thing leads to another. You end up getting transported into the spirit world. And that sort of progresses the story. Now, like I say, the game itself, you're looking at about an hour's worth of gameplay of that. It's it's fine. Like I say it's it's a it's a nice little interactive story. There's no voice acting as such. It's all just text on the screen. Um, but the sort of the look of the game, the aesthetics, it's got a nice sort of it's got its own sort of style which suits it. Um, it's sort of like low poly, which is nice, um, and it really sort of brings you into that sort of world while you're playing, which is really cool. The uh, the dialogue isn't bad at all. And the sort of ambient sort of background music is nice. I didn't like the the fact that every time you had a, a text box pop up and close, it had like a like a alarm sort of like a bing that sort of notification sound that sort of pulls you out of it if they're going for this sort of um, atmospheric type of escapism type of game. So um, that was the only thing that I could complain about. But the story itself is cool. Um, you basically, uh, it's a story that emphasises the importance of empathy and compassion in a world that feels lost and uncertain. And basically that you can rely on the help and guidance of others to make it through. And it's sort of like a, a coming of age um, journey uh, for the main character. Because she's got to sort of go off on her own and sort of just sort of take it on herself and get over her worries and stuff like that and basically save the world as such but the game itself isn't bad 
it's an easy 1,000 gamer score. There's no hidden achievements or anything like that. You just get them for progressing through the story. So if you want an easy game and just want to enjoy a relaxing sort of walking um, simulator type game, this is one I highly recommend. Now, the stakes don't feel really high. It never sort of builds up to anything. It doesn't have like that grand overscale. It, it's just what it is, which isn't a bad thing, but some people may be expecting more from the story. But I really enjoyed my time with the game. Like I say, it was a nice hour um, to, to play. I didn't feel like I'd wasted my time or anything like that and regret it. So, win-win, like I say. And this was the... the debut game from uh, Myriad Game Studio, so I'd love to see what they do in the future and see what's next from them. But that's out of this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button, hit subscribe because we're on the way to 1000 subscribers and leave a comment down below let us know what you thought of the game and we'll see you soon for more videos everyone. Bye for now.